Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Linda. For today's video, I'm starting it off a little different today because I wanted to introduce myself to you guys to say hello and to say thank you so much for all your continued love and support. It just means the world to me that you guys get inspired here in any way or that you recreate my DIYs to put in your home for your wedding, for your parties. It's just so amazing. Thank you so much. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing three fall home decor DIYs that you guys have been requesting using fall traditional colors, so I hope you enjoy. For this first DIY, you're going to need all items from the Dollar Tree. I have three bouquets of these peonies in the color red, orange, and beige. I thought this color combination is really pretty. Then you're going to need this leaf garland, white satin ribbon, hot glue gun, and this reform. Grabbing the garland, I'm wrapping it around the wreath and just making layers of it so the leaves look more fuller. I chose to do this step because I didn't want to clip every leaf off and then hot glue it because I'm going to be adding flowers on here and with adding the flowers you're not going to be able to see the leaves unless you do this step. Here I'm just going to glue down the garland. I'm going to add a generous amount of glue on here so that it doesn't come apart. Make sure that you're careful because the glue is very hot and I'm just going to repeat this step all around the garland until everything is glued down. These are going to be mini reefs for the end chairs in the dining room. For the fun part, you can get the hot glue gun and then just glue the flowers on top and you can get creative, use as many flowers, colors, different styles that you want. You can add more pumpkins, more grapes and berries, it's all up to you. I found this floor mat at the Dollar Tree and I thought it was perfect to lay my DIYs on top when I'm working on a project, especially with hot glue. I got my ribbon and put it through the big wire and the little wire and then I just connected it to the other side as well. This is why I chose to go with the wire reef instead of the foam one because you could see it through the chair so this one held up better as well. Make sure that you're getting enough ribbon for these chairs and then just cut any excess that you have left. And here's the finished result. I think this looks so cute on each end chair because it just adds that touch of fall. And I saw this in a store, I can't remember which one, if it was Pier 1 or Kirkland's, and they had it for a much more higher price. So of course I had to make something similar, more affordable, because you guys have been requesting fall DIYs with fall colors. So I hope you liked it. Let me know in the comments what color would you use or if you would make this exact same one. For this next DIY, you're going to need four bouquets of your choice of flowers. I chose red peonies. You're going to need a round circle mirror, gem beads from Hobby Lobby, a floral foam, and a hot glue gun. Taking the mirror apart, I'm going to use the bottom piece and the mirror and then just set the frame to the side. I'm going to glue the bottom of the floral foam and stick it on the bottom piece of the mirror. Adding more glue to the top of the floral foam, I'm going to add the mirror on top. To 
To make sure that the flowers don't come out of the foam, I'm going to get some glue and then just put a drop on it, then put the flower through the glue. Adding a drop of glue on top of the peonies, I'm going to layer a gem on each one. And here's the final result. I layered it with some earrings and a purse that I had. I just love the extra glam that it gave because of the gems on top of the peonies. So I wanted to show you guys how you can style it in a bedroom. You can put this on a nightstand or just anywhere in your house. Um, you can put candles, you can put decor, pumpkins, whatever you want. It's your choice. So go for it. Let me know if you would make this and what colors would you use and where would you style it. For the last DIY, I'm making a fall garland, so you will need these self-adhesive hooks, leaf garland, ribbon of your choice, and I use three bouquets of flowers. Taking some glue, I'm going to leave about four inches of ribbon so I can make a loop. That way I can put these on the adhesive hooks. This is how I'm going to be able to hang my garland. I'm going to cut the end of the leaves, that way I can glue these on the ribbon. Also make sure to cut off the stems off the flowers, that way when you glue them they're laying flat. At first I thought I finished and I was going to leave the white ribbon showing like that because I liked the look of it, but then it just looked better when it was fuller, so I went back and I added even more flowers and leaves. Taking the back off the self-adhesive hooks, I went ahead and attached them to the mirrored chest. I put one on each side and two in the front for the garland to hang. I had a lot of fun making these fall DIYs for you guys, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. I asked you guys on Instagram what videos you want to see, and a lot of you requested fall DIYs, Christmas DIYs, so stay tuned if you want to see some of those in my videos coming up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and make sure your bell notification is turned on, that way you're notified immediately when I upload a video. This concludes today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below which DIY was your favorite. I'd love to hear from you guys. So I'll talk to you in my next one. Take care. Bye.